y'all. So if you listen to episode one of my podcast for season two, um, you hear me explain, I guess, the experience or the journey that I've been on after experiencing loss as amazing. And I even say in the podcast episode, like, when I say amazing, I don't mean like just awesome and great and happy. Um, but it's amazing to see the way that God has weaved himself into every moment, whether that be uh, a disappointing moment, a hurt moment, a moment of just feeling like I'm going insane. He's just been there and I've seen him. So I just wanted to share a story um, that I felt like really helped me when I look back on it. And I actually was talking to a friend of mine a few days ago. And when I told the story, it was like, wow, that's, that's powerful to think about now. So after, um, and I explained a lot of the background of what I'm about to say in the episode. So if you haven't listened or if you haven't watched, go watch now. But after we had our ultrasound where they didn't see a baby, um, you know, that night we couldn't get any answers because it was such, it was a very late appointment. I think it was at seven o'clock. So it was super late. And I didn't get a chance to call my doctor. So the next morning I woke up very early, started to call the doctor as soon as the office opened. Of course, she wasn't available yet. So I was getting nurses um, who really couldn't tell me anything because the results hadn't even been sent over to the doctor yet. So I was just in this place of just the unknown. Didn't know what was happening. Didn't know, you know, I was supposed to be 10 weeks, but they're saying that they didn't see a baby. So it's like, what the heck? is going on and so my husband ended up taking the kids to the park um, just so I can have some time to kind of relax because he could tell that um, I was just in a space of just stress and so I went into my office and I turned up um, I remember the song it was Waymaker um, I was listening to the Miranda Curtis version and I just cried out to God I almost wailed um, but I was sobbing and just crying out to God. I don't even really remember what I was saying or praying. I just remember just almost screaming. And um, after, you know, that time of me crying and praying and screaming, <laughs> um, I felt peace. Nothing had changed. I didn't talk to the doctor. My circumstance didn't change, but God just overwhelmed me with peace. I was able to take a shower. I was able to get dinner done. And I was able to talk to one of my friends on Marco Polo and just kind of explain to her what was going on and just ask for her prayers. But before that, I didn't feel like doing anything. All I wanted to do was get answers. And just for me to see now that nothing had changed that day. Absolutely nothing. I don't think I even talked to the doctor until a couple days later, but nothing changed other than the peace of God that completely consumed me. And I just wanted to share that because when we're in moments after we experience this loss and there's just so many things that are bombarding our minds, um, the confusion, the pain, the anger, um, God will always meet us right there, right where we are. And I just hope that that's an encouragement to somebody because even though the situation didn't change for me, God just implanted himself right there next to me. And that's what I needed. So again, if y'all haven't listened to episode one, um, go and listen to it. It's available on all podcast platforms. Also, you can watch the video on YouTube right now. So you can go to the link in my bio and take a look. Bye y'all.